What is up, my riders? So I never did a video on my car. I did a, like a live stream, but I wanted to actually do this on video as well because most of you probably didn't want to watch a 20 minute live stream talking about this. So your boy has decided to switch to the all wheel drive platform. And I was really excited to look at an Audi A3, but after some like careful consideration, I don't feel comfortable trading in my car with the issue that it has without disclosing the information to dealerships and most of the time uh the dealers don't have the car i'm looking at i'm looking at like a 2016 2015 audi a3 carvana is like the only place that has that available uh for like the price range and what i'm looking for most dealers are actually don't have a lot of stuff right now because how COVID is affecting the market and everything like that with that being said, I wanted to reach out to you guys and see if anybody was interested in getting my car as like a car to keep alive. We did go over the turbo and I'm almost 100% sure that it is done. It always starts in the heater core. It just starts leaking when the seals go on the turbo. For some reason, when the seals go, it does not let coolant go through the turbo and but 100% needs one. I am willing to help whoever buys the car swap the new turbo in as well, but I'm, I'm looking to sell the car if I can, but I'm trying to be as transparent as possible because I don't want to screw anyone over or anything like that. Uh, I did put it on Facebook Marketplace, but most of the people that aren't into Volkswagens are probably going to stray away from this, so I decided to make a video saying like, hey guys, it's available if you guys were interested. I'm going to start um around like 17 which is the lowest like market range it's in right now um and then go from there work it down if i need to there is only 44,000 miles on the car it is meticulously maintained it doesn't even need a oil change for another 2700 miles and pretty much everything is custom that you guys have been watching on the channel from this point uh jb4 if you swap in a bigger turbo, it will need retuned. If you swap in a smaller turbo, it will be needing a retune. But JB4 with George sets that up pretty pretty easy. And I guess I could help with that as well if you wanted a retune. The IS38 turbo right now is no good. And I, I don't know. People have been telling me that it's the turbo, the IS38. IS20 and the platform are just not good at handling high boost. So if you were to get this platform, it would have to be on a lower boost setting. I think I was near like pushing the turbo as much as I physically could. Other than that, there's other ways with the same turbo that I have with water meth injection. I never touched e-blends yet. There's so many like routes that you can go to make more power on this platform. And that's why I wanted to open it up to you guys to see if anyone wanted to tinker with it. Since you guys that are into the Volkswagens, uh, my followers, my, my riders, you guys that actually like the Volkswagen stuff would be the more opted people to wanting to work with it and keep it going and keep the, the GLI alive. So with that being said, uh, it is for sale. Um, I have it on sale on Marketplace. For this, so I can let everyone know, I posted something on Instagram, but I wanted to just let you guys in the loop and know what's going on with the car and everything. And yes, I am looking at an Audi A3 for the all wheel drive platform and I'll still be doing car related stuff, but I'm going to take it more rational. Um, and since it will be MQB, I'll be able to tune with EQT through with a access port. So since there are a lot more actual tunes for the MQB platform, I should 100% be able to safely push the turbo on the Audi if I decide to do content with that and actually do it like within its realm whereas everything with the GLI so far has been custom and I haven't been necessarily smart I will own up to it on pushing the boundaries for you guys' entertainment pushing the horsepower all that kind of stuff but having like an MQB specific tuner and being able to swap over to the MQB platform, but also have all-wheel drive. I think it's just the right move for me right now. I've had my fun with the GLI, and that's why I'm opening it up to you guys, hopefully seeing if someone else wants to have some fun with the GLI. So uh, fingers crossed, one of you guys want it, 
or are interested, uh, you guys can reach me on all my social media. It's always in the description. I'll let it down below. Uh, but also, you guys can leave a comment or anything else. And let me know what you guys think of my decision. I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to hate it. But I did try to keep it in the uh, Volkswagen in group. Uh, just keep it tight within that arena. I don't want to go outside of like the German like Volkswagen owned brands. I, I want to keep it keep it close to where my followers are like into and everything. So many people were saying about the Q50 and I got really deep into the Q50 because everyone talks about how cool the mini GTR motor is in it and all the capability with that. But I just couldn't like bring myself to look at if Infinities, even though technically an all wheel drive Infinity 3.0 T like base model would be a lot cheaper for me than an Audi, uh, at least what I was looking at price wise. I just want to keep it in the family. So let me know what you guys think. I love you. Make sure to be happy. Stress less. I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, 